New Year's Resolutions Week with new love. Mr. and Mrs. Wright could be right around the corner for you in 2015, but a counselor at the Macon Family Counseling Center, Sandra McClendon, believes a new healthy relationship starts with loving yourself. Sandra's here today with us to talk a little bit about it. So, Sandra, thanks for being here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Great, great. And let's talk a little bit about relationships in general. If I was someone who wanted to start a new relationship maybe with somebody uh, going into the new year here, what are some things that I could do to uh, help that be a, a smooth transition and, and help the other person really get used to me? Well, um, first, um, when you're actually um, meeting someone for the first time, um, one great suggestion would be to actually meet that person in a public place. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, you know, truly sit down and talk with that person and, and find out as much as you possibly can um, in regards to that person's likes, dislikes, um, and if you basically hit it off really well, um, another suggestion would be to not actually give all of your personal information, maybe a cell phone. Mm -hmm. yeah, and okay. um, that way you could, you know, could communicate and if you truly want to meet again, um, you could set up another meeting and um, from there, um, find out that person's likes, dislikes, and you know, and who that person really is. Yeah, it's, it's really about spending time, it seems like. Absolutely. That makes sense, that makes sense. And if I was someone who maybe was already in a relationship, uh, what are some things that I could do to make it healthier? Because you know, sometimes relationships, actually probably all the time, can be <laughs> up and down roller coasters. Right. So tell me a little bit about some things I could do to keep that relationship healthy. Well, you know, once you're in a relationship, you become complacent and you actually forget what it took to actually get that person. <laughs> um, but when it comes to communication, that's the key. Yeah. Um, if you um, can communicate with one another and basically keep that relationship live, go out on dates, um, you know, just do things that are just totally out of the ordinary. Um, just not your everyday, well, let's go out to dinner and go to a movie, but let's try something new, something different. Um, and that definitely keeps a relationship live. Yeah, you got to have that spark a little Absolutely. bit. That would make sense. Uh, definitely to keep the spark. So how about someone who maybe was coming off of maybe a serious relationship or a divorce? Uh, you, you've you been married to somebody for a while. Are there any tips that you can give them uh, knowing that they've come off something like that, like a divorce? Okay, well, not to actually rush right into another relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I would suggest that you really find yourself, who you are. Um, get yeah. to know yourself again before you actually get, in, get into another relationship. But again, you know, the same holds. Um, get to know a person before you truly get involved because usually after divorce, you know, we're feeling sort of down and, yeah. you yeah, know, we feel true. that we just need to have somebody, you know, with us. But again, um, getting to know a person before you actually start a serious relationship. Yeah. Fight that urge to have Absolutely. someone there and fill that void. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. Well, Sandra, thanks for being here today. I know that uh, hopefully you've given some good information to some folks out there who are trying to change their lives here yes. in the new year. So thanks for being here. Thanks Thank so you. All right. Well, if you want more information on the Family Counseling Center website, you can go there. That's www.fccg.org. And coming up, the